Hi, I'm Don Quinn. I teach Japanese and personal fitness here at CCA, Canada Crest Academy. I've been teaching for 11 years now and you know, I love it, yeah. Students are funny. I learn a lot from students and it's interesting like as when you teach, their minds start to mature and grow and really expand and they're and just to see also students grow, even when they're this tall, then they start sprouting, and growing, and growing, and growing. And to see them from freshman to senior, the, the difference is amazing. It's like, well, how are you doing? And all of a sudden, you see a student, wow, you grew so tall. You know, it's fun. It's fun. I never go to work thinking that, uh, oh no, I gotta go to work. I have never thought that way in my life. So I've had other jobs, part-time jobs, where oh, I don't want to go. I just don't want to go. You know, but this teaching job, I never felt that at all. I was born in. Where was I born? I was born in Warwick, New York. It's a, it's about a, a mile, actually an hour drive from the city, New York City. So I was Warwick, New York. Uh, my family I have, a, you know, I have a mom, my mom and dad. You know, we pretty much grew up in San Diego, and I have uh, two younger brothers. And my mom's Yoshi, my dad's Roger, and uh, my two younger brothers are Casey and Andy. And right now. I'm 44, Casey's 43, and Andy's 32. So, well, well, basically, I, I mean, I, I was born in New York, went to San Diego, then my brother was born, then went, moved to Japan, then my other brother was born. I pretty much grew up in Japan until I was eight, and uh, I went on a, you know, English-speaking uh, school that was that was located in the base, Atsugi Air Force Base. So that's where I did my schooling there until I was in the third grade. Then I moved to San Diego and grew up in San Diego since I was eight, and then went to Southwest Junior High School, went to Southwest High School. So then from there, uh, I went to Southwestern College, I played football there. Also went for one semester at San Diego, San, Diego, San Diego City College. I went to school there for a year. So I studied Japanese at UCLA. Great experience, loved it. Uh, it's a big school, so it's a huge school, like 48,000 students going to that school. So I, I studied Japanese, I loved it, and then I graduated, and then I decided, now what? What am I going to do? So pretty much that's what I, as far as the schooling from middle school to, you know, to high school, the junior college, to college, that's pretty much how. Okay, how did my band originate? I actually joined the band, they were, they were already established. So about eight years ago, they needed a bass player. At the time, my brother joined the band, and at the time the name was Undecided. And so, so there's two sets of brothers with uh, Ben at the time was playing with us. So it's a five-piece band. Now we decided First Class Fiction. You, I love that name. You know, it's pretty strong. It's, it's something that people can relate to. It's first class. Right now, to be honest with you, we haven't. It's been you know since 2000. I started coming back. I started teaching again at CCA, and everyone's been pretty much doing their own thing now. Even though from time to time we'll play gigs downtown San Diego just to stay fresh. But we haven't played much gigs lately. I think we just want time off, six months, just like, just let's just take some time off and then get back and just write some new stuff. Sometimes you need that break to get away from each other. And then once we get back, the motivation's there. It's like, I feel like a little kid again, wanting to play and jam and write new songs. So, uh, so for right now, we're pretty much laying low for right now and just working with other artists for right now. Uh, anyone watching this, uh, thank you for taking the time to listen to me and learn more about me. Um, basically what I want you to do is really think about who you are, where are you going, and how you're going to get there. And really focus on your passion. What makes you happy? And sometimes you, know, you need to just take a step back and just believe in yourself and be happy. Always be happy, think positive.